Yo, what's going on everyone? It's me, it's Conscienceola. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. All right, so today we're going to be looking at the brand new AR Plus feature that was recently added to Pokemon Go. In case you didn't know, this feature is supposed to be the last peg of the rediscover Pokemon Go thing that they have going on. And yeah, it's in the game right now. It might be something you were not aware of because Niantic really didn't do anything to announce that it was released into the game. It completely flew under the radar for most players. Even I didn't even realize it was in the game until I saw a Reddit post about it. So yeah, let's give it a test drive. Let's actually talk about whether or not this feature is any good. If there's anything that Niantic could do to improve it because I can almost guarantee there's going to be something that Niantic needs to do to it. And yeah, let's actually check it out. Alrighty, so if you go into the Pokemon storage, you could already see that there's something new here. Uh, this is actually not anything related to the new AR feature. It's like a notifications thing. That's really cool. But if you go to the camera, you can see right here, there is a bunch of stuff related to the new AR+. And you can see you could actually have like some presets but let's actually select some Pokemon. I'm actually gonna go with my favorite Pokemon, which is Shiny Rayquaza. Let's actually go with this. You could actually select multiple Pokemon. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna select three Pokemon. Now, just like the original. Ooh, you can see right here, there's actually a circle where you could actually place the Pokemon. Oh, wow, it's big. All right. Up, 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 what's going on here? All right, so clearly it's still a work in progress. Kind of par for the course with anything Niantic does. Now let's put Kyogre in here. Seems like it's a little too big. I'm gonna try to step back a little bit. So already it looks pretty cool, but I'm trying to get Kyogre somewhere. All right, let's see if you'll go in. Here we go. This looks very awkward. And now let's try to get Groudon fit in here. Here we go. So we got the big three. If I step back a little bit. Uh, there's something going on right there. That's not good. All right, let's uh, see if this will work. <laughs> it looks so awkward. Oh, it's actually my camera. Hello. So my camera is actually, it can kind of detect my camera, which is kind of cool, but it still looks very awkward. So yeah, let me see if I can rotate around. I don't know what's going on with Rayquaza back there, but I wanna see if I can get a good group shot. Oh, and we got a photo bomb too. Pretty cool. All right, let's see if I can, uh, let's try some uh, little effects. Oh, looks like they all look at me. Two, one. All right, I don't know what that just did. But let's take a look at our pictures. All right, we've seen this before. All right, so it, it came out well, I guess. Oh, nope. <laughs> So it's really just that first picture that came out somewhat well, but you could see there's, uh, you know, not an entirety of Groudon. That's more because of the ratio of my phone, but you can actually add some stickers, some effects. Let's actually see here. Yeah, you could add some cool little, little stuff to it. I think that's really cool. Maybe some stickers. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the new AR feature. Now, I wanna see if there's any rewards for doing something with like, let's say these Kanto Pokemon. I'm gonna try this out. Let's uh, actually see if we could. Oop. What's going on here? Ah, oh, that's interesting. So you actually drag out the Pokemon and you can kind of place them, I guess. There we go. Oh, it's a shadow. <laughs> kind of a fun little... But it's cool that you can kind of aim it. 
so you could place them very specifically. All right, this looks a lot better. Let's see if we can get a much better picture here. Oh, its frame rates are jaggedy. Cool. Sweet. I like the way this one looks. Let's see if we can add some effects. <laughs> Look at that. Now, let's actually add some stuff here. Maybe this shiny, uh, some hearts, and stars. Yeah, it looks pretty lame. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But overall, there you go. Uh, I don't think anything happens though. Wow, this area is actually kind of bumping. So these are just, I guess, presets. There are just, um, I don't know, some things you could try out, Pokemon in your collection. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's clearly some technical problems, especially if you use super large Pokemon. Um, but overall, I think it looks really cool. I think they did a really good job with it. There's some fun you can have with this, like if you want to take some really cool AR pictures. Maybe during a community day, you could have one of each stage of evolution together. Like, you could do some very interesting stuff there. But overall, yeah, it looks like it's still kind of in a bare bones state. Maybe it's just my device, but I have a very high end device. Um, I don't know how this is going to run for people with low end devices. It's going to be a huge question mark. But overall, pretty cool. I don't think there's anything special about this that a lot of players are going to run out and do. Like, there's no reason for you to do this. Like, aside from taking cool AR shots, there's no rewards for doing this. So I think that's something that Niantic could do something about. Maybe they could have field research tasks where you could get some special rewards like stickers and the new flares for taking snapshots with three Pokemon. I don't know. They could do something to make this a little bit more worthwhile. But as of right now, it's pretty much just there. It's a new feature. It's more of a sandbox thing. I don't know if that's going to be interesting for you. But yeah, it's... Uh, interesting to say the least but in any case that's going to be it for this video like i said i'm personally a fan of this but i can understand if some players just simply do not care about the ar feature or they think this is a big waste of niantic's resources i can totally understand that by the way this is something that they were working on for the past i think four years that's how long it took them to come up with this new feature and the fact that it's still kind of buggy that's very concerning to me but yeah i still think it was a good job like they did a pretty good job in my opinion but yeah that's going to be it share your opinions regarding the new ar feature down below in the comments i would like to know what you are thinking so that we can have a great discussion because yeah this is something that i'm very curious to know what the pokemon go community is thinking about but that's going to be it for this video if you ended up enjoying it and found it to be insightful make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here and also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever i upload videos now i want to give a quick shout out to every single patron on my patreon you make this channel content possible if you want to support the content of the channel the absolute best way you could do so is by clicking on the links in the description below one of them will take you to my patreon page and if you become a paid patreon member you get to play pokemon go with me because i'm going to add you to my pokemon go friends list so if you want to do remote raids together or you want to level up our friendship levels together then make sure you go and check out my patreon and if you want to support my channel in a different way you could always do so by following me on social media my handle is at conscienceola and i'm on the platforms that you see on screen make sure you go over there and give me a follow all right and that's going to be it for this video i'm conscienceola be safe have fun love yourself i'll catch you all later